after all the rain we've had, we've got a nice, lovely, sunny, cool day. Yeah, it's 16 degrees Celsius. Lovely walking weather, walking temperature. We came down to, I think it's called Glenvale, which is a western suburb of Toowoomba. And they've got a little park here and a uh, little walk area. The equestrian centre is over there. There's lots of big blocks of land over here. I don't think it's acreage. Jeez. Oh, I'm telling him. Look, finish going to pee. I want to get, keep on walking. Well, we have to pee every now and again. She said, yeah, but I'm quick at peeing. She's very interested in going for her walk. Pulling and pulling and pulling. And I'm leaning right back. He wants to go and see the horses, I think. Crazy girl. And this is the Toowoomba Showgrounds. Behind the, well, next to the equestrian centre. They're excited because they see a, a big doggy over there. And they want to go and say hello to the big doggy. And there's our showgrounds. And little people go around and around and around in circles showing off their beasties. Best cow wins. And uh, looks like we've got buses and campers over there. Lots of camp caravans. Grey nomads everywhere. Here we have a pavilion. Founders pavilion. Well that's a trip. Somebody thought about that one, didn't they? Didn't really take much imagination. Founders pavilion. So the reason why there's so many caravans there, I spoke to a chappy, was that it, uh, it's actually a caravan park. So they keep the showgrounds open, and uh, when they're not doing an event, and turn it into a caravan park. Clive Berg Hoffer room. An office. More caravans. Lots more caravans. Budget house. Interesting. And different uh, blocks that have been donated. Sandstone. Interesting. People getting their names put on, on a block of sandstone. Let's say more caravans. Caravans everywhere. Clive Berghofer Pavilion. Showgirl Way. Mm-hmm. McWilliam Sheep Pavilion down there. Come down and have a look at some of these interesting windmills. So that's an iron turbine. Springfield, Ohio. Well, there you go. A web from Melbourne. Steel Star. Indiana. This one's made by Toowoomba Foundry. A little one. One from Melbourne.
Jem from Illinois. And the one from Toowoomba, Southern Cross. Brisbane. Another one from Brisbane, air motor. The Comet, Sydney, that's a big one. Another one from Toowoomba, Southern, another Southern Cross. And a Alston wheel, well the main contraption of it. Made in Melbourne and an Alston full size windmill. Made in Melbourne. Lots of windmills. And if I pan around, we have got a rolling husky. Trying to imitate a windmill. You're not doing a very good job <laughs> of it. There's a flock of budgies somewhere. We came up across them, and when I went to grab the camera, uh, they flew off. I didn't realise that they were budgies because they were in the shade. I couldn't see their colours. The uh, Australian budgies are pretty ordinary, they're just green. I sort of like that colour green, if you can see that. You know, so that they uh, blend into the grass and all that sort of thing. So they flew off this way somewhere. But yeah, a flock of budgies. Not that too, too many, about a dozen. I don't know if they flew into this tree. No, they're just normal parrots. They flew off this direction. So it's a shame I didn't ca catch them on camera. As I say, I didn't realise that they were budgies until I got probably within 30 feet of them. Because in the uh, shade, they just look like little birds. Just ordinary little birds. So we've got budgies out here. That's pretty cool. Well, have a lovely day, everybody. And we'll catch up with you soon. See us.